Hello everyone. How are you March 1st, 2021? I hadn't done a video in a couple weeks, so we had a little bit of a storm. 14 or 20 below zero. Now it's, uh, I think it was 60 today. And what's going on with precious metals? Looks like gold is uh, doing a sell-off. And silver is waiting to take off. Hey, everybody's got an opinion about it. Silver is an industrial metal. You make jewelry, computers, electrical. Gold, you pretty much just hold on to it for insurance. You can always sell it for cash. Or at least the history books I read. So I thought I'd show you some of the things out of my shoebox. <laughs> my shoebox called March 2021. This is pretty nice. I picked up last fall. It's real bubblegum. Druzy. Looks to be about 24 inches. It's been handmade. I uh, sold something that I did not believe was bubble gum. Druzy. And I guess the reason I didn't believe they were is because I had these. And they had some weird sprinkles on them. And I just got another thing. I don't know if I'll find it tonight. That was sold to me by the same uh, estate. Our daughter thought that it was an opal. But it's still got that same uh, blue sprinkles in it. It looks to be glass. Don't know when I'll be doing an auction again. So don't be shy. If you're interested in any of these, email me. And we'll talk a price. You see, this is very nice. Sometimes I think I could almost take this apart and make individual necklaces. Speaking of which, I do have some necklaces in. I think they're 28, 24, 21. And then I have some, uh, and they're sterling. They're not marked sterling, so they're probably plated. But I have some, uh, I think it's 14 karat gold necklaces. I'll make you a deal. Now this is a diamond cut rope chain. And a 925 8 inch bracelet. And if it was a little bit longer, I haven't even looked at it much. Yep, it's marked Italy 925. If it was a little bit bigger, I'd wear it. This is a really nice cut. Got a lobster claw on it. Let's see if we can get any markings on it. I am definitely going to have to up my great uh, game. I 
Got an iPod a few months ago. But it's smarter than me because I haven't kept up with the uh, telephones. Mine's 15 years old. I know how it works. <laughs> Most of the time. And this is a matching 8 inch bracelet. I don't think that's bent. I think it's just uh, there it came out. Matchy, matchy. Yep, not bent. It's fine. Sometimes they get their uh, knickers in a knock. Or however that saying went. Uh, this is pretty interesting. This is usually a popular combination. Uh, I think it's called Bull's Blood Coral. And a Kingman. Kind of blurry tonight, aren't I? Ooh, and froze up. What size, you say? Once again, if you're interested, send me a timestamp and describe the item. It's a five. I got a really nice one here. It's old. I think it's mine number eight. I was lucky to get this a few years ago. Monty Matthew, I think, if I remember right, I looked it up earlier. Sterling silver. Well loved. Look at that. It's got some weight in it. Two and a half. I like these clasps like that. Not a clasp, it's a uh, it's a thingamabob you put your chain through. <laughs> and yes, I did just have dinner and it was a great pizza, but no beer. <laughs> Can't afford the calories. This is pretty nice too. But I hadn't done a video in a while. So before I lose all my subscribers, I thought I'd just do one tonight. Look at the work on that. And this is substantially heavy. And it's got stamping all over it. And probably a Kingman mine. I just learned about a stone the other day that comes out of the old man mine. See, it's a little bit big on me, but it's not coming off. Oh, we got a Bruce. Uh, my granddaddy used to get bruises for no good reason. That is a nice, nice piece. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what I can make a mess out of. Oh, got a couple more bracelets. Those copper ones that I made last month, I can't seem to find them. No doubt I put them where I wouldn't lose them. And this got an M on it, sterling. It's either new 
or Roberta has polished it. Mm. Well, like that. Actually, I like this better than this one because that is a, a little heavy and just a little big. This one fits me just right. But I am a reseller. I could be talked into parting with it. And you remember, the email is the little muddy farm at gmail.com. I would say that this is a ladies. And I'm not sure which stone it is. It does have a mark. And it does say sterling. Just perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Hint, hint. I noticed a couple of people the last couple of times I've been on the auction with Cindy and Ro. Wondering why I don't talk. I used to be a jibbering jabbering fool when I was young. And as I got older, I realized that my parents were right. Children should be seen and not heard. Oh, that's right, I'm not a kid anymore. I just sometimes don't have anything to say, and a lot of times when everybody's talking, I'm reading or studying, keeping track in case they need me for something besides being picked on. So this is not verme, I do not believe, because verme is gold plating over silver. So if it's gold and it's marked 925, it says Italy, You know, there's only one way to find out for sure what these things are made out of. That's to put them in a fire, heat them up, see what they melt. Because when they're new like this, the one place you'll scratch it, it'll be the one place that somebody says, what's that? And it'll have one of those blue-purple spots on it depending on what carrot it tests for. Oh, and this is a crafter's lot. It's got blue stones, it's got pink stones, all sorts of stones, but it's a uh, costume, I'm pretty sure. Speaking of costume, uh, let me reach around here. I do have a bag of costume. It's almost a pound. No silver in it yet. But it would be great for crafting. And what I've been doing is when I get something... I just throw it in there. So that is for sale. I've got an old bag here. It's got a wrong price on it. But if you saw that price, we could do a starting bid. So let me put this somewhere. What else would you like to see from my Southwest hobby? I've always been kind of interested in Native American because uh, it wasn't very popular when I was growing up, as my dad would say. Another blanket butt fell off the horse. And my mom and my great aunt. 
throw popcorn at him. This is Labradite. I know you can't see it very good, but it's raw Labradite Druzy. I can see the blue. Yep, there's a nice blue one. That one right there's got a lot of blue in it. Got some green. It is definitely rough cut Labradite. And it's got a 925 on it. Nice work. And as Fran would say, it has balls on it. Let's see. Inside measurement is almost two and a half, but larger than two and a quarter. So it has to have just the right wrist. It's, and no, I don't know if you'd want to bend it much. But you can see it's got some crowns on it. I'm going to run this video until it cuts out. So I'll probably be frozen here in a little bit. But you'll still be able to hear me. And of course, I bought two of these at an auction. Thinking that I could find someone to fix it. Nobody works on them anymore. See, it works on a key, and I got a key somewhere I think will work. My local pawn buddy that I've known for years because his wife used to come to the farmer's market and buy tomatoes from me. Well, I can't open it. Trust me. <laughs> it's a watch. <laughs> uh, he had a whole bunch of them. Uh, he didn't want to sell them. He didn't want to work on this one, I assume, because he didn't know how. And I assume that uh, most of the watchmakers have uh, passed. But I still like to have an uh, old-fashioned pocket watch just in case the lights go out. Oh, they did in Texas, didn't they? And Georgia, and Alabama, and Kentucky. <laughs> and then, this is what I made back in the 80s. I wish I'd made it a little bit bigger. And see, it still has a seam there. Because I didn't use the right solder. I used plumbing, plumber's solder. <laughs> and it's a little too big for my pinky. Maybe I'll lose some weight this summer. But you see how it's made. I don't know how I did that. Well, I kind of know how. I drew it out. Uh, this one's a lot easier. You just make a ring, solder a bezel on top. Do da, do da. What else is in the shoebox? 20 minutes. I believe this to be a Boulder Opal. Whoops. It's got some flash in it. Oh, and it's got some stamping on it. It's old pawn. No markings. But I can wear this one. I kind of like it too. It's a little profile. Things 
Well, women don't have to worry about it. A guy, they got to have a ring that he can reach into his pant pockets, pull out keys or whatever we keep in our pants. Once again, I do have chains for these. I like this one. Nice and green. Someone knows what that stone is. When I do, it's got a little rust spot in it. Must have a spot of iron in there. Do some more silver. This is not southwestern. It's more Celtic. I don't really know how long it is. But look how big and thick that is. It's got the old fashioned. My hand's in the way. I can't see it. There he is. That one should be easy to get on and off. I see now why God created man. So he could help the ladies put on their jewelry. And most likely some faux gold. I'll look some other time since we've been on 22 minutes and doing it this way it takes a couple hours to upload but I just haven't got on StreamYard yet because it gets me anyway and I can do this now I didn't know this was so nice You're getting sleepy. But look at this chain. Is that a Figaro? Figaro, Figaro. Yep, I see markings on it. 925 Italy. On both sides, lobster claw. Huh. What if I can get over my big head? Uh, I can. Oh, hot dog. Mm, I like that. Mm, especially if I don't have to use my gnarly fingers to try to hook these clasps. Let's see if I got any notes on this one. 28 inch sterling with cross marked. The bale is marked 925 most likely those are not diamond chips I said most likely hang with me just a little bit longer these will be my March items I was hoping I'd find those copper bracelets I made this is 24 inch sterling with a gold wash. Is it Vermeer? I don't think so. But it is 24 inch. Huh. I like that. I will probably have to sell this by itself because when we start adding a pendant to this, It gets a little pricey. Okay. 25 minutes. You know, if you don't do this every once in a while, you <coughs> forget how. Now, this is diamond cut. 
and this is nice twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder how you are it's got a small lobster claw but I do remember the person selling it and it is marked 925 diamond cut yeah it's a little <clears throat> a little tight for me but I got a fat neck because I used to wrestle do yoga stand on my head <laughs> all right well I got more silver in here than I thought Oh, and I got a CZ. CZ. Some CZs I like better than a diamond. Look at all them colors. Woo! I never could fool a girl with a CZ. She'd always go to the jewelry store the next day. That's a nice stone. And it is new. Ooh. 925. It's got a heart with an A in it. Might need to save that one, give it to somebody. Too old and grumpy. I'd be like a wild Mustang. Don't think I could ever be gentled or tamed again. Oh, you never know. Now, this is not a very thick stone, but it has a nice blue color. And it has a number in it, assuming it's 925. Most likely it's out of my collection because I can wear it. <clears throat> Two more minutes, folks, and we'll call it a night. Well, a night for you, but for me, I'll have to upload this. Oh, there's a nice one, too. I guess I was busy last year. And I like it when they get fit over your head. Let me show you what the other chains are real quick. Excuse me, I have to stand up. Oh. Hope I don't knock down my uh, studio. I'll show you these. These are lobster claws. These are the 28 inch. I got quite a few of these last month. When everybody was saying they couldn't find any, I got kind of lucky. And let's see, I have four packages of these, I've only sold three. And then I have the small chains, like what I've had for the last few months. And I don't know if I can get these gold ones off or not. Let's see, if you hear a big thud, guess what? Oh. <clears throat> well, first, let's talk about this one. This is another nice heavy chain. Oh, must be 20 inches or 18. All right. Let's see what this says. It's been so long. These are the 28 gold plated chain. They are not Vermeer. 
because if it was Vermeer, we know it would have a 925 on it somewhere. And it would have a gold wash on it. But trust me, even your hairdresser wouldn't know that they weren't real. 30 minutes. School's out for summer. I think I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you all later. I appreciate you supporting me. And I just sent Lydia her prize. She cried. She's very happy. I imagine most of you that didn't want it cried. <laughs> but thank you. We may try to do it again. I think Roberta is next. And I think Jewelry, wants to, Jewelry Nurse wants to try it. And then it'll be time for uh, Gianna again. Or anybody else that would be interested. It actually helped me pay for that furnace. The good thing about the furnace, it went out exactly three weeks before that freeze, sub-zero freeze. And my Jeep quit running three weeks just before that freeze. Fortunately, it was just a battery issue. But it could have been a lot worse, and I'm sure it was for a lot of other people. So I pray for them continually. Okay.